Okay, we're back. Let's get back. Not that back. <laughs> the other back. I say back. No, forward. Okay, so here we are. There's the launch pad. It doesn't look destroyed. Uh, what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. It, it was destroyed. Uh, what? Um. Uh. If I enter the launch pad. But it was destroyed. You guys saw it was destroyed. Do I not have that on? Are my difficulty settings not right? How do I check that? Here, settings. Difficulty moderate. Ah, uh, no, my facilities are not indestructible. I don't understand. Okay, well, for whatever reason, that got fixed. Or maybe it actually wasn't broken? It looked pretty broken. It looked pretty exploded to me. Okay, we still got a huge chunk of change going. Wow, whatever. Let's go back and load. Okay, let's set up staging properly this time. Here into here and all of these rockets also fire at the same time these do you guys have to get split out all right crew you guys you don't want to be on here gilbert welcome back you you got that's one experience is halfway up wow okay gilbert you are our most experienced pilot you need to make sure this doesn't happen again Oh boy, but with an experience like that, it might be better to pick one of these guys. <laughs> okay, let's save and launch. Launch pad is not in service. Oh, oh no. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, let's go back. Here. No. No. Enter. Uh huh. Here, okay, this. Get rid of these guys. Go grab Gilbert. And launch. What? Uh, okay, we are leaned sideways here. Um, okay, this is a bug. This is a, this is a bug. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Timer started. It, we're already in flight. The mission's already going. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's just throttle all the way up and get going. <laughs> Gilbert, are you ready? You've already started. <laughs> let's go. Oh wow. Okay, uh, we don't need that much power. <laughs> Get back, get back straight up, go straight up. I guess being a little tilted toward the 90s is not bad. Oh my word. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> We're gonna have to fix that at some point. <laughs> but today is not that day. Gilbert's happy, Gilbert's happy to get going. We're starting with a very minor gravity turn. This is the, uh, this is the new way of launching. Uh, this is, this is part of the fun of playing, oh, that worked without the, uh, see, I didn't need the Separatrons. That's part of the fun of playing games that are in, uh, in development and beta and whatnot, is that you get these kinds of experiences. Like, this would not, this is not going to be a thing when the final game comes out, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll have stuff like that fixed. But I would never have gotten to have that experience if I didn't, uh, buy this game before it came out. It will certainly be memorable, if nothing else. I will remember this, this launch to Duna. Let's do our actual gravity turn. Not the crazy pre-gravity turn. Once I get over to 45, I will throttle us up the rest of the way. Because we can go a lot faster than this. And go. Whoa. Our SAS is having a hard time holding us stable. Whoa. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, I guess I did need separate drones. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Okay, shoot that off. Yeah, I knew that was going to be a thing. All right, you two go. 
Nope, these are not strong enough. Okay, let's cut this. Alright, I want to try to save as much of this as possible. I don't know if land or water is better for, for what I'm wanting to do. I, I want to try to use these to slow my descent. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get some science here. Observe the mystery goo. Good. Observe the mystery goo. Good. Observe the materials bay. Good. And this. Log of temperature. Negative amounts of science. Good. <laughs> okay, we are, yes, we are gaining speed toward the surface. We need to slow down as much as possible. These, these are not strong enough to do that. I wish there was a fuel dump option where I could just say, get rid of all the fuel. What I might have to do, I might have to stage this off and then uh, just try to save this. Um, oh, we're actually, okay, we're getting slowed down. The combination of this and the atmosphere is actually beginning to slow us down. That is excellent. See, now I'd kind of like that advanced SAS to, to hold me on retrograde. Okay, we're slowing down. We're slowing down. Okay, this needs to go here now. I have a buffer. Okay, I think having these deploy sooner rather than later is better. Good. Okay, SAS off. So now these guys should hold us basically facing toward retrograde. All right, this is as much thrust as I can put into this. Gilbert, you seem happy. You should not be. Uh, let's also use RCS. Push us up. Slow us down. Slow us down. There we go. This might actually work. I might be able to salvage this. Okay. Slow. Slow us more. Come on, RCS, go, 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 go. Oh, this is not gonna work. Whoa. Okay, let's look on the bright side. I still have not killed any Kerbals. Get a crew report? We've never gotten a crew report from the water? Really? EVA? Flying over the waters we've gotten. How about in the actual water? Have we, we, we must have gotten in the water. No, we haven't. Take a surface sample. All right, well, Gilbert, you are you are getting some good pilot experience, and you are getting us moderate amounts of science. Grab, board. All right, let's uh, recover this. All right, 15 science. Cover your vessel to survive to flight. Not really. Parts, a little bit back. And crew, no experience gained. So he must have to... So I guess if you, like, fly and curb, and that gives you one experience, but, like, probably orbiting gets you another one or something. All right, well... We are fast losing money here. Oh, look, it's our debris. Recover it. And recover it. And recover it. And recover it. And recover it. There we go. All right, uh, so yeah, we don't really have a launch pad. We kind of do. Uh, I don't know how to fix that problem, though, because I, I just restarted the game, and you would normally think that re restarting the game would be how you'd fix a bug like this, where the launch pad shouldn't actually allow me to use it. Okay, well, we need more money because this uh, this is probably actually not going to be enough because uh, this was actually the cheaper of the lift stages. The other one for the plane is going to have to be even more expensive, so this is not enough money for us anymore, most likely. So let's go to Mission Control and see what we can do about that. Okay, space data from the space around Kerbin. This is good. Uh, we have five years to do it, and we just need to send any kind of science from around Kerbin. Great. Stack separator while landed... No. Rescue new top Kerman from Kerman. Wait, what? Oh, he's stuck in low Kerman over... Okay, I thought it was that rescuing him from uh, from somewhere on the surface of Kerman. I'm like, can't I just recover him? Okay, so they want me to rescue new top Kerman from being in low Earth orbit. Low Kerman orbit. <laughs> what is this Earth you speak of? Okay, so we'll do that. Oh, wait. This thing again? 
Another parachute contract? No, never again. <laughs> Low altitude, ridiculous speeds. Absolutely not. Never, ever again. <laughs> uh, decoupler while splashdown. That's ridiculous. Explore Eve. We'll get there. Test turbojet engine landed at Minmus? That wouldn't even work. There's no oxygen on Minmus. Okay, so we have our contracts. These... So really all we've gotten are these two, but that's fine. So, uh, okay, we're gonna have to do a mission to go rescue New Top Kerman and uh, this in order to get some more money. Uh, this is a decent amount of money. And hopefully we can also get some other science and things. And because this is gone, we're going to have to use a space plane. All right, we're not gonna use the other space plane I made because that one actually is not capable of getting into uh, space from Kerbin. And that would, that's by design. I, it's not supposed to be able to get into space from Kerbin. It's supposed to be able to get into space from Duna. Getting into orbit around Duna is a heck of a lot easier because the atmosphere is thinner, the gravity is less, and you know, you can, you don't have to go as high. You only have to get up to 40,000 and you're already in a, uh, you already escaped from the atmosphere. Okay, we need to rescue this guy. So we're going to need this, or we're going to need one of these probe cores, but I think, hmm, how much are each of these? Inline cockpit's actually less heavy than this one, and it's cheaper. Okay, so the inline cockpit is the way to go, and then I'm going to stick a probe core on the front. Uh, which one, though? This is cheaper and lighter, so this will go on the front. So now, let's get one of these. This is cheaper and lighter. Cheaper and lighter, saving money all the time. It's all about saving money, especially at this point, since this is a mission about getting money. You wouldn't want to break bank on this. On the plus side, since it's a space plane, this whole thing should, should be coming back. And then we'll do one of these, and another one of these. So like this. That looks ridiculously long. Excellent! And then now for the wings. So, all these different connector types. I think A is the one I want. Yes. And these. And these. Oh, excellent. My center of mass is way ahead of my center of lift, which is very, very good. All right, now structural elements. Huh? How did one of those cross and the other one didn't? All right, so why did I add the streaks? Because they look really cool. That is why I added them. That is my whole justification. Oh, duh. Solar panels. Solar panels. Never forget. <laughs> like that. Excellent. We have it, folks. Our... This is... First space plane. The... Rescuer. It is for rescuing. That is its name and job. Hopefully, it itself does not need to be rescued at some point. Why an uppercase R? I don't know. Sorry, Jebediah. No crew for this mission. Save. Staging is not correct. We need these two to fire first. This one fires later. And time to set up action groups. Uh, whoop. Come on out. There we go. Some interface bugs, it's okay. Five is usually my action group that I do for, uh, whatchamacallit, switching to, uh, switching between air breathing and not air breathing modes. So toggle those engines, and then this, toggle that engine. All right, Let's save that, and then anything else? Uh, I don't really think anything else is needed on here. All right, we are ready, ready to rescue. Let's launch. Okay. So now when we go past, we should be able to see our destroyed, uh... No operational SAS modules and no pilots aboard cannot engage SAS. Oh, no. So the SAS in here doesn't work unless I have an actual pilot. Interesting. Okay, let's, uh... Whoa. What? Why can't I recover the vessel? Brakes. Stop. Okay, let's recover the vessel. Funds recovered, 100% value. Good. So back here, let's give it an SAS module. That's kind of important. So we'll give you, well, you know what? Yeah, let's give you the advanced SAS. No need to skimp. Lives are at stake. Now is not the time to save 600 credits. Funds? Don't know what the currency is called. It's like a VF. Variable funds. Something like that. 
Okay, crew, no crew, good. Jebediah, I'm glad that you've gotten less antsy about stealing spots. Let's launch. Okay, it lands. It's working. No SAS modules, no pilot support. This is an SAS module. This is an SAS module. <sighs> really? Without a pilot, I can't have SAS? Well, guess I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. No SAS. Throttle up. Let's go. Nope, really can't engage it. Oh, this will be interesting. Good, we're picking up speed well. Oh no. Uh, up. Up, can we go up? No, not sideways. No. Up. Oh, and there we go. Okay, this little guy. Engine, can you make... That is a negative. Still says this is fully operational, even though I know it's not. Okay, let's go back to here. So it looks like we're going to actually need a pilot uh, aboard our uh, rescuer. That means we're going to want to trade this out for this. Okay, so very successful first space plane, but as successful as that was, uh, let's not do that ever again. <laughs> Give it an SAS module, and where? Okay, so since we're gonna be doing this kind of stuff, let's actually like give this some science and whatnot. Uh, science, science, stop, go away. Unfilter, there we go. Uh, let's see, goo, I don't really need goo. But what are we gonna get? Okay, barometers, barometers. We'll get a barometer reading in multiple points of the atmosphere. And actually, let's uh, let's replace this with an aerodynamic part. This nose cone. There we go. Save. Now crew. All right, Jebediah. Since you really want to come along, you can come along. All right. Let's launch. However, I really don't want to kill Jebediah Kerman. That'd be a horrible way to end this off. All right. Time to go to space. Throttle up. Ready, Jebediah? Let's go. Tilt. Can I tilt up? Really? I can't? Oh, dear. Oh, there we go. Gear up. Oh no, no! Well, here is our uh, flight results. We had liftoff, sort of, but this, this just about sums it up. 35 seconds after we started, we have lost Jebediah Kerman. <sighs> well, let's take a look here. Lost one. Jebediah Kerman, KIA. <sighs> well, our funds have been cut more than in half, and we've lost Jebediah Kerman. This has not been a very good day here at KSC. The sun has now fully risen, and while the shadow of the VAB and all of these buildings may be receding, I think the, uh, the shadow of this, this failure is pretty large. Going to take a long time for that to go away. Even the birds have stopped chirping. And this still cannot be repaired. It's not a good day, ladies and gentlemen. But without failure, there would be nothing good to say about success. And as impossible as it might seem, we will recover from this. Our space program will continue and will move forward in spite of these setbacks. 
Uh, Jebediah, I'm sorry. You are eager to help. You are eager to do so many things. We will not forget you. Your spirit of eagerness will live on, even in your absence. So, hello ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as all good space programs should do, following uh, our disaster, I did some research, I looked into the uh, the bugs, and I discovered the cause. You'll notice that something is different here than what is normal. This is not the 64-bit edition. Uh, apparently the problems that I was having are associated with the 64-bit version of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, in the past, the 64-bit version problems have been things like you can't properly, you know, right-click and things like that, but now it's apparently also affecting things like whether or not buildings are properly destroyed. Apparently it's also been uh, affecting the ability of the radial decouplers Apparently sometimes they just do not have any ejection force at all on the 64-bit version. So that would also account for why our rocket did not properly eject. Uh, the exterior fuel tanks, uh, those liquid boosters that we had on it. So I I tried the game. I made a new game and whatnot in uh, the 32-bit version, and it works fine. Uh, buildings properly destroy and all that. I also discovered that apparently in career mode now, you actually have to upgrade your buildings to get them to the level that, uh, that I, I have in that one. My thought here is I want to go into the game, and I want to see if I can load this game our uh, structural integrity with the 32-bit version. I have not yet tried this. This, I have no idea whether or not this will actually work, but I'm going to try it now and see if it will show us a properly destroyed launch pad. Let's find out. Well, there we go. Launch pad is properly destroyed, and I can repair it for almost 100,000 units of currency. So apparently this is a problem that's just for the 64-bit build. Uh, if this had not worked, my thought was that I would uh, just try to complete that mission on the 64-bit build and then restart. Because that looked kind of interesting. You had to like upgrade the VAB in order to construct more complex rockets or the launch pad in order to hold them and uh, various things like that. So I'd be interested in, in doing that, but I want to keep going with this save that we have. So my plan is that I will continue with this save up until they release the final version of the game. And then we will be starting again from that. And I like our, our Kerbals that we have here. I like Danzin and... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, no, over here. <laughs> I forgot I thought that... No, this is Dansen. Not to be confused with Danzun. Uh, but yeah, I like Danzen and I like Jendo and I like Donfred and Rotten. Like, I've grown attached to these guys uh, as, as our crewmen. And well, I'm sad that Jebediah Kerman was lost. I don't want to lose these guys. So I, I don't know if there's some way I could bring these Kerbals over. Like, there's got to be a way to manipulate the save data to bring these guys over. And, uh, if I can find a way to do that, I'll, I probably will. I'll probably bring uh, Ribrim and Theoden and Danzen over to the the new save. So they'll, they'll, <laughs> you know, they'll, they'll be with us, uh, at the at the new space program like i guess it'll be like they transferred so in the long run maybe we'll do that uh in the short run we're gonna need some money especially because i'm gonna have to fix this uh but i will save that for next episode and we'll take a look and see other contracts we can get uh this has been a a tough episode to uh to make and uh it has been a a tough experience to try to uh come back from and the birds have again stopped. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for sticking with me. And uh, hopefully we will have much, much better luck in the future.